What's up, guys? Today we have a Moff Sissian uh, inform review, and this guy's going for uh, a cheap price for an inform. He's going for around 18k. I he he might drop a bit. I I don't know really. Uh, one thing I like to talk about is that he is 88 pace, 79 shot, 79 dribbling, 76 heading. So he has all decent stats. I mean, he is he's he is a quick player, and uh, 46 passing. That's kind of bad. It's but it doesn't feel like that in game, guys. A hundred percent doesn't feel like that. He has good passing, and um, one thing I hate about him, and it's it's his nation, <laughs> it's Armenian. No disrespect to any Armenian pe people, but it's just it's such a hard, um, such a hard nation to do hybrids with, and um, he he the only the only people he person like the only uh the only things he gets double connects to is anything that's Spartak Moscow, and um, I have Wellington playing it with him, and Wellington is a very good player, and um. I enjoy using them all the time, and um, let's get to the team around them. Three arm goats. You have very um, basic team. You know, you got Bonaventura in form, who's going for around like 13k, yeah, which is not much. And you have Farfan. It's a very basic team. Um, they all they all play amazing, yeah, and uh, I enjoy using them. And um, uh, Moff Sisian is um, he's a, he's a he's an all right player, and um, he's going for relatively cheap. He's been doing really well for me. I mean, uh, eight goals is. Eight goals in four games is really good. He's six one, so he's big too. And let's get into some of the goals, guys. And I'll show you what this guy's all about and what he's really good at and what he's really bad at. Let's get into some of Mofsisian's in-game stats. And Mofsisian has some decent in-game stats. And um, he look he has like eighty four dribbling, eighty six finishing, eighty two long shots, eighty five penalties, and eighty six uh shot power. He has high low uh, attacking and low defense, which helps a lot. He has eighty nine sprint speed. And he, he has uh, some very decent all-round stats. He was up three overalls, just like Ibarbo. So he he has some very good penalties, guys. I don't think I missed one, and he has some very good penalties. And uh, he, he, this guy, he, one thing I noticed really late on when I was using him, like after I played like four four games, four or five games with him, and um, one thing I noticed is his finesse doesn't curve. Like his finesse won't curve. For some reason, it just won't curve. For some reason, it's just really, it's not that good. But it's just placement, like that curve, it didn't even, it, like that finesse was, it didn't even curve that much. And uh, his curves, I think, I believe it's like 73 or something. It's not that good. So uh, one thing I advise you, if you do use this player, is just power shot it. He has a very good and very good, uh, very good power shot. And I enjoy, that's one thing I love about him. And his high low it really helps. He's a very average player in my opinion. I I wouldn't say uh, I wouldn't don't take I won't take anything away from him. He is a very average player. I I would very much just use Wellington over him. Uh, Wellington is basically the same player. It's just his four star skills. He's Brazilian, so you can make so many good hybrids with him because there's so many Brazilian players. And uh, he has very good dribbling for someone who's six one. Uh, he has very good dribbling. He holds the ball really close to him. Like, as you can see here, I, I'm just dancing around defenders. You see his finesse right there. He didn't curve. And um, he has decent finishing. And he's he's very pacey. Uh, he's he's very good all-round striker, I would say. But Wellington is just, he's, he's the exact same player. And uh, they look alike as well, too. It's just, Wellington is just a better player, in my opinion. And that's the end of the review, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.